Hail, Holy Queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound thy hymn. Save, save, save Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves as we celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of Justice. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you have shown us in the Blessed Virgin Mary the model of sublime love and profound humility. Grant that your church may be like her, obedient to your commandments of love, so that by giving itself wholly, wholeheartedly, to seeking your glory and serving others, it may stand before all peoples as the sacrament of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Ramses for Skokah, about 600,000 men on foot, not counting the little ones. A crowd of mixed ancestry also went up with them, besides their livestock, very numerous flocks and herds. Since the dough they had brought out of Egypt was not leavened, they baked it into unleavened loaves. They rushed out of Egypt and had no opportunity even to prepare food for the journey. The time the children of Israel had stayed in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years, all the hosts of the Lord left the land of Egypt on this very day. This was the night of vigil for the Lord. He led them out of the land of Egypt. So on the same night, all the children of Israel must keep a vigil for the Lord throughout their generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our objection, for his mercy endures forever. And freed us from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who smote the Egyptians in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out of Israel from their midst, for his mercy endures forever, with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever, who split the Red Sea in twain, for his mercy endures forever, and led Israel through its midst, for his mercy endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the word to himself in Christ 
and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my chosen, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight, I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering whip he would not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Pharisees, they really did not like Jesus. I'm not sure if they were jealous about his popularity, or if in the way that he spoke, they felt that he was judging them. Perhaps he was challenging them. To live as God asked us to live. But the very first lines of today's gospel said they went out to take counsel. They wanted to put him to death. They wanted to get rid of him. And then St. Matthew quotes for us Isaiah the prophet. He quotes from a part of Isaiah that is known as the suffering servant, the one who goes willingly to slaughter, the one who is obedient to God, and he doesn't resist because he is knowing God's will. We read a part of this every Good Friday, for it reminds us that Jesus did not offer resistance. He wanted to follow in God's will. He wanted to follow God's will. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench. He is so gentle, so kind and loving that he wouldn't rip off a bruised reed. We hear about how gentle and loving Jesus is. Once again, on the Saturdays, there isn't a feast day that we celebrate, we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. And today we honor once again Mary, who is that perfect model and example for the Church, a model of humility, a model of obedience, a model I think all of us should strive to follow with great joy. In this weekend's bulletin, I'm going to announce that beginning in August, St. Michael's will return to its normal weekday schedule, which means that we will once again offer a 6.30 a.m. Mass and an 8 a.m. Mass each day, Monday through Friday, and we will resume our Saturday morning Mass at 8.30. In many ways, I'm going to lose my recording studio because we record in the chapel. And so then beginning in August, uh, we will no longer be recording daily Masses. We will continue to record the weekend Masses and place them on our YouTube page or on the parish website. So what I decided to do instead is that I will record a daily prayer service. We won't do the Eucharist, and as you cannot receive the Eucharist, it only seems to make a little sense. 
And so what we'll do is we'll offer a prayer service. We will proclaim the scriptures. I will give a little homilet, and then we will pray together. And then we will pray the act of spiritual communion. So it'll be just a little shorter, but then it will save me from doing a multiple number of masses on weekdays. And it will again keep us connected, and it will keep us united in the Word of God. And so I hope that that will be an acceptable alternative. And as I said, we will continue to offer our Sunday masses which will be recorded and placed on the parish website, along with these daily, daily reflections and prayer services. Let us place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world, that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the image and mother of the church, we may become closer to her Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders, that they will work together for the common good and establish peace throughout the globe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our nation. We pray for peace in our streets. We pray for a greater respect for human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray then for the sick and the suffering, the vulnerable, the oppressed, the lonely, the anxious, and the fearful. May they know the healing touch of our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into the glory of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of today's Mass and for all your needs and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth at the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please cleanse me from this. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. Lord, transform these gifts, which we bring to you with joyful hearts in the sacrament of our salvation, and this memorial of the Virgin Mary in glory, for she is the shining model of true worship for your church, and of our duty to offer ourselves as a holy victim, pleasing in your eyes, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in your infinite goodness you have given the vir to the Virgin Church the model of true worship in the Virgin Mary. She is the Virgin who listens, who embraces your words with joy, treasuring them in the silence of her heart. She is the Virgin of Prayer, who sings of your mercy in her canticle of praise, who shows concern for the Bridegroom and the Bride of Cana, who intercedes for them with her Son, who prays with the Apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She is the Virgin Mother who gives birth to your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
and at the foot of the cross is proclaimed as mother of the people of the new covenant. She is the virgin who offers presenting the firstborn in your temple and sharing in his self-offering besides the tree of everlasting life. She is the virgin who keeps vigil, awaiting the resurrection of her son with unwavering hope and looking forward to the coming of the Holy Spirit with steadfast faith. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, 
You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Keep me safe. Blessed are you, Mary, full of grace. We lift up our eyes to you as a shining model of every virtue, to the whole company of those whom God has chosen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present at the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we have offered to you in sacrifice the holy mysteries of your table. And having received with loving hearts the body and blood of your Son, grant that your church may always look to the Blessed Virgin, and so grow in fervor of faith to be conformed in love, and to be strengthened by the hope of future glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. To you by an angel the Lord God made known the grace of the Spirit, the gift of your Son. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave Maria. Most blessed of all women, you heard and believed. Most blessed is the fruit of your womb conceived. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave.